I tire of the intrusive iTunes audio converter adding CDs I insert and switch to Audio Grabber 1.83, which is actually more versatile. www.filehippo.com offers the full version, and I got the program to work despite ambiguous instructions. Double left click your mouse on the Audio Grabber desktop icon, then insert your CD or open the document where you converted analog to digital with Audacity. All the CD tracks will appear at left of screen. Make sure the MP3 as well as settings icons are configured to convert audio and wave and MP3 which will end up in the audio grabber folder. A left click on the MP3 icon brings up its settings screen which I left click to check append ID3 info to WAV file and left click on MP3 file via intermediate WAV file keep the WAV file. A left click on the settings icon brings up its screen where I only check track number. Then the setting you need is grayed out which is use subdirectories only for MP3 and WMA but can be checked when checking either two above it. To choose which CD tracks you don't want to convert, merely left click the check in the box next to the track. Left click grab icon and conversion starts. For Audacity wave type audio in your document, you merely hold down left click on audio and drag down to audio grabber in bottom tray to bring up its program then lift the left click above tray. A small box appears which you left click mp3 button which works like grab icon. To get your converted audio left click on mp3 icon, left click on browse icon and a small box appears. At bottom of smaller box left click arrow by wave all files choice left click open button and converted audio appears in box listen to this before deciding to convert analog tapes or records to digital wave or mp3 if you already have a tape or record player with a built-in amp or receiver as long as it has a headphone jack, you're capable to convert. For pennies on the dollar, you can find this equipment at garage sales or the net. A typical Walkman or newer stereo units need a stereo RCA cable that can be found at discount stores. Older stereo units may need to adapt down to the RCA plug, which may be found at an electronic store. If your stereo has auxiliary coax outputs, a coax to RCA Y cable can be used and is found at electronic stores. An RCA plug is 1 8 inch and should match your PC mic or line input. I confidently download from www.filehippo.com and pick the version of Audacity that pick works in my 98SE. Once hooked up from the PC to the source and everything is on, Set your speakers low and start the music. Open Audacity, left click Project on the top left, and left click New Stereo Project on the drop down menu. Left click the record button on the simulated console and make sure the graph is just near the lines at the top and bottom for best sound. If no sound, make sure the box below record button is set to the mic or line you hook to and the slider can be left click and drag to adjust graph next to it. If levels good or want to remove completed track, left click file, select new from the drop down menu, right click that track tab at the bottom and select close from the drop down menu. 
When done recording track, left click stop on the simulated console. To save track, left click file on the top left, select save project as on the drop down menu, and then give it a name. To convert track to wave, left click file on the top left, select export as wave on the drop down. To trim from a track, hold left click on the area and drag shade across. On right of drop down box for line or mic is a scissor icon to trim that shaded area. Good luck!